What's going on? A lot of fish and TV. Yes, we are here today because there is something special here. I don't know if you can see these two packages right in front of me, but these are your chum pods. One is an older model and the other is a newer model. Let's dig in. There's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. All right, so before we get started, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. All right, so here you have your chum pods. Now, for those who don't know, this is a Arizona-based product. This product is designed in Arizona. And the whole purpose of a chum pod is a pod full of chum. I know you heard of Tide Pods, and please, for those who out there do not do any more Tide Pod challenges, okay? But let's just open up the bag of the old model so that we can see exactly what the chum pod looks like. So here you have a pod full of chum inside. And it's probably, you can see the little dot right there or the little hole is because it got wet when I was uh, out there doing a forecast update on the blizzard we had. But this is what a chum pod looks like. A pod full of chum and what it's for is for carp fishing, cat fishing, any kind of fishing. I mean, as long as you could chum, and please check your regulations. If you could chum where you live, you can just throw these out. I mean, like you can actually grab a handful of and just say, or you could simply just put it on a hook. And we're gonna show you exactly how you can do all of this. We're gonna look at the old model and compare it to the newer model. All right, so now let's look at the new model. Now the new model is slight different. It seemed like it almost looked like sand. It has a very fishy smell and it seems a little bit smaller than the original type or chum pod. That tie pod thing got me going crazy up here. Okay, so here's the newer model versus the older model. Newer. Older. Now, one of them feels a little bit more tighter. One feel, they feel about the same weight. One looks definitely smaller. The newer one looks smaller while the older, or should I say, generation first generation looks a little bit more chunkier um to hand they both almost feel exactly the same you have your original green kind of bag here and then you have the newer bag that has a transparent cover right there so that you can see and also the artwork has a blue catfish and the artwork on here has a i want to say looks like the channel cat right there but as you can see there's multiple fish on both bags so what we're gonna do is figure out what these do different I got the news that this one sinks a little bit faster but also dissolves slower and I believe this one takes a long time well a longer time which in my experience it does float a little bit before it starts to drop so let's check out the both two in some water and how are we gonna do that? I'll show you. All right, so listen, we have two cups of water right here and we're gonna put an older model of the Chum Pod in this cup and we're gonna put the newer model of Chum Pod in this. Now, I'm trying to decide within these couple seconds, should I do both of them at the same time? And here's the water and we pick up and we look at them at the same time or should I just do one at a time? In fact, we'll do one at a time. Here we go. We have the first generation Chum Pod in the water, one, two, three, four, five. About six seconds, about five to six seconds before it just obliterated. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Like, just imagine you throw 20 or 40 of these outside in your favorite fishing spot, fishing for carp or catfish, and then you have this. That is crazy, yo. Oh, okay. 
So let's see what this other one do. Now that didn't take long. That did not take long to see. Here you have it. There's a newer one. New generation of chum pods in the water. Whoa, it sunk immediately. <laughs> what? Whoa, and it's taking a lot longer to dissolve. Which means, look at that, look at that. There it go. Oh, this is crazy. Look at that. It's dissolving. Now, my only concern is the one that looks more like sand, would that be effective? I think it would because if it's in the water and it's like sandy and you just got this flavor, but they can't figure out exactly what it is, they'd just be nuts about it because it's not, it don't seem like it's as much of a solid as this one. You can see this big crazy mess. The presentation of this does look better to me, but I feel like the longer a chum pot lasts, the slower it dissolves, the more time they got, well, the less time they got to actually take off that bait. Well, they actually got more time to work around that bait. So they'd be messing around with the adhesive before they can actually clean it up. This, it'd be a quicker cleanup, especially if you only just throw one. So here you have the newer one that sinks immediately. Wow. And then you have the old one that took about five to six seconds to drop, but has a better looking presentation. This to me seemed like a big block. And I do think that this would cause fish to just really try to suck that up because it still looked like a block under there. So it looks like a big piece of bait. And once they break that up, I'm pretty sure it goes crazy. So the only way we can see what it actually do is sticking something in there to find out how it actually looks. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually look at this and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna use this pencil right here, this unsharpened pencil to see exactly what it looks like if a fish would decide to just bite down on that. See, I'm gonna tell you what I like. I like that it kind of blends in with that water. As you can see, I'm kind of moving it around and it almost seemed like it's like a uh, slowly dissolving bait. But check this out. Put your, put my, oh, snaps. Dude, it's like solid, it's almost like sand. Ooh, so when they, look at that. Just imagine they go and mix that all around. It's gonna be like flavor in their gills and not a solid. They ain't gonna be trying to figure out what it is. And it's just gonna cost this good of a mess right here. Hey, you know what? I don't know, man. Hold on, hold on. That new chum pie looking good. Now let's take a pencil and go down with the first generation right here of chum pot. <gasps> I don't know. So it makes a mess. It does make a mess. It does make a mess, but one of them is starting to get back a little bit clearer while the other one stays foggy. And then you can see the mess at the bottom. They both got the mess at the bottom, as you can see. But one of them is starting to get a little bit more clear than the other one. This is the new generation. And this is your old generation, which is starting to get clear. I think that left one, which is the new one, makes a lot of sense which means it doesn't dissipate as easy and it's not so heavy that it just sinks right back to the ground. This on the other hand has a heavier bait or solid to a point where the water is starting to get back clear as you can see. While this one is staying foggy, so let's put them back close and you can see a little bit more clarity on this one. Wow. This is almost like science 101, yo. Oh, snaps. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you put these on a hook too. Because yes, you can chum these without a hook. But if your regulations state otherwise, then what you have to do is put it on a hook, even with your favorite bait on it, and cast it out. And we're gonna show you how we hook these chum pods up. All right, so look. Here is a hook. This is a small circle hook right here. If we can get that in there. Let's see. Ah, oh, kablam. That's what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is put the chum pot on there. So let's just say if you was to cast out because you cannot chum, what are you going to do? Let's say if you use a worm. You're going to put your worm on the hook and then you're going to make sure your fingers dry and you're going to grab a chum pot. So what you're going to do here, right? You're gonna grab this. I wanna see if y'all can get that in there. Okay, bam. You're gonna stick it in the corner right here. Let's get this in here. I want y'all to see that. 
stick it in the top corner. And that's how you cast it out. And yes, these can cast out. I'm going to show you. You can cast these out, so don't get it twisted. I know a lot of people be like, well, these won't come off the hook. Nope. So there you have it. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see what it looked like when you... So let's just say... And that's how it would sit just like that with the hook inside. You can't even see the hook. But it would sit just like that inside. And it would dissolve. And they'll come up and try to munch down on there. And kablam! You hook, you reel in, and you got you a fish. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Oh! <laughs> I like that. Yo! Man, listen, I'm about to have fun 2022. But y'all already know what it is, y'all. Come on now, check out Chump Pods. Chump Pods, precision chumming, baby. And y'all already know what it is. There's a lot of fishing TV in the building, baby. And like I always say, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. I will have Chump Pods in the description box below. So go ahead and click. And do everything you got to do to get you some of these because I'm telling you, this is about to be for real. All right, now. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.